Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Samantha. Um, this reading is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising signs. So my viewers who have Scorpio as their Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, it's for the week of September 21st to the 27th, 2020. I'm using the influence of the Angels Tarot deck. And today, I'm going to do the first part of a Celtic cross. So the first six cards of a Celtic cross, the cross part of the Celtic cross. And I'm looking for the energies that are strong in the lives of um, people who have Scorpio as their sun, moon, or rising sign. I'm looking for, looking for what energies are strong this week with you in your lives. As always, please take what resonates with you and leave the rest. It'll resonate differently with different people because this is a general reading for everyone who has Scorpio as their sun, moon, and ri or, or rising sign. All right. So again, I'm going to do the first six cards of the Celtic Cross. And I'm looking for Scorpio, please. Scorpio. Oh, okay. Nine of Pentacles is the situation. Luxury, um, enjoying luxury. Sometimes it can be a sense of um, isolation, but a lot of the time it's just luxury, enjoying. And it doesn't have to be opulent luxury. It can just be enjoying the little luxuries in life. Maybe this card is telling you you need to do more of that. Okay. And then what's crossing it? is the Six of Swords. This is a card of moving away from difficulty, um, you know, finding finding calmer waters, um, moving in, in a new direction or to new horizons. So maybe if, maybe you're, perhaps for some of you, this feeling of wanting to do that is interfering with, with um, is somehow interacting with um, this energy of the, Knight of, uh, of the Knight of Pentacles that I just mentioned. Maybe you want to move forward, but, you know, you're enjoying just kind of luxuriating a bit in, you know, in um, some of the little luxuries of life. Okay, now um, for the foundation of the reading, we have the Two of Pentacles. This is financial, money, energy, um, you know, practical resources. This is a feeling of um, an energy of juggling resources. So maybe it's, so this seems to be something that you're dealing with right now this week. For the um, past affecting the present, we have the Queen of Swords. Um, this is a very um, intellectual energy, a very focused, rational energy. Um, it's also a very compassionate energy and, um, you know, a determined one. So it looks like there's a great sense of determination coming. You're bringing a great sense of determination into this week. For our present, we have the Five of Cups. This is a card of, it can be loss, sorrow, or it can be, you know, um, it can be the, you know, the idea of crying over spilt milk. So perhaps, you know, dwelling too much on something you can't change. That's something you want to, you want to fix. You don't want to, you know, exert your, you don't want to spend your energy on that. Okay. Then we have the Justice card for the um, potential future. This is a card of balance. It can be a card of legal matters. So, um, you know, perhaps coming into later in the week, you'll, um, you'll um, be dealing with some kind of legal matter or you'll just be feeling a sense of balance or feeling a greater need for a sense of balance. And I think I'm going to add one more card to this spread. So I've done the, the cross of the cross. I'm going to do one more card just for advice. Okay. Our advice card is the Eight of Wands. This is a card of forward motion, fast moving, fast moving action. So I think for some of you, for some of you, you might you might consider, um, you know, um, putting some ideas into action, moving forward with something you've been wanting to do, and you know, kind of using this balance, this balance, a balancing energy of Justice card to decide what's best for you before you move forward. So I hope you enjoyed your reading. Um, Scorpio, let me know if you did. Let me know if it resonated, please. I'd love to. I'd love it if you would. Um, please like, please subscribe, and uh, if you want to see my my future readings. And I hope you have a wonderful week. All right, bye.